Hello, in this video I will show you how to use uh, Debris component. This is a component which allows you to create debris and use uh, Unity's built-in Shuriken particle system. So this is not something we wrote, but we use this built-in system and we reveal only necessary properties which uh, you will need the most to create debris. And so uh, there are three ways to create debris on demolition, so object when object uh, demolish it, it will all its fragments or some of them will emit this particle debris. Uh, second way is emit particles when object activated. In this case object itself will emit debris and uh, another way is on impact which means you can shoot object and it will emit debris at the point of impact. So first example here shows you demolition debris so I have these two rocks and this rock is don't have debris so uh, as you can see on demolition turned off. So basically that means that it won't create any kind of debris. I can delete, delete this component. And for this rock, second one, I s apply this debris component and I have here on demolition uh, turned on. Uh, I will talk about all the properties in other videos. For now, I just want to show you how, how these different types works. So first I will create a uh, simple demolition without debris so you will see the difference and I will initialize this rock so as you can see a bunch of fragments about 10 fragments simple rigid body demolition nothing fancy and in this case I will use debris so you will be able to see difference I'll initialize this rock and now you can see how it creates this bunch of particles and every fragment has its own particles and as you can see over time they disappear so this is just a quick way to create some fancy demolition not only rigid body uh, demolition but also apply some some spectacular visual effects so let's take a look again as you can see the second one looks much better and much more interesting so now let's take a look at another way. I uh, also want to mention that to use debris, uh, basically all you need to do is just apply. It can be used only with rigid uh, component. And uh, if you have rigid component and debris, then it will copy this the same debris component to every fragment with all its properties. So let's take a look again. You can see I start uh, play mode and uh, when I create these fragments, they also get the same refire debris component with the same properties. So when this object, I can uh, demolish this fragment again and it will, its fragments also will generate debris. So uh, next type is debris by activation. And again, in this case, I have, I already have a bunch of fragments here and I applied reduced component with object type mesh root, which means I have this empty object, empty root, just this rigid component, and it will copy this refire rigid component to every fragment. As you can see right now, they don't have anything. And it will create a rigid component for every fragment. It will use all of the same properties, except object type will be set just to mesh. And first example, uh, again, I don't have debris component to the, on this empty root just uh, to show you how the same simulation looks without debris and I have here this activator so you can see I start activating objects and just regular rigid body simulation and in this example here I have the same setup but also I have this refire debris component and I turn on this own activation so again I will uh, and again just want to uh, mention that if you have debris component with uh, rigid component even though you have this component debris component on uh, just a root it will be copied to all the fragments when simulation will start so now I start play mode I can select every fragment you will see I have here a rigid component and debris component which are, uh, which were co copied from this root so now I will start activation and here you can see that every fragment also generates some debris. And again, this one looks much more interesting and much better. And third way to create debris is by shooting them, by shooting object. 
So here's my setup. And again, I have my column. The first one have only rigid component, which means uh, it won't emit any debris. Second one has debris with on impact turned on. And again, you can use all of them. I just show you how to how they looks like separately. So we can shoot object emit debris, and then you can demolish it. And then if it was if it was inactive, all the fragments will be inactive, and then some fragments will be activated. And again, they will emit debris. Uh, so let's start play mode. And I have this gun. I hit here start shooting. And you can see it starts shooting this object and it creates this light. So whenever I move this object, it means it's shooting at this place. And now I will move it here. And now you can see it start emitting debris at the impact point. So this is how you can create uh, impact debris for your uh, if, in case you want to shoot some object and only after some shots it will be demolished and emit even more debris. So that was the debris component. Uh, just quick overview. In other videos I will talk about every property here. So um, I guess that's it. This, this little overview. Thank you for watching.